Hey everyone, it's Ashlina. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I've been telling people I was going to be doing this album for so long that I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to take the time and do it right now while I have some time. Although there are so many other things that I have to do, this just takes precedence, okay? I love Ray so much. You guys know that. If you're not new to my channel, you know how much of a fan I am. Her album was insane listening to for the first time, my 21st Century Blues, that is. And it was like one of the first reactions I did on my channel that got crazy amount of views. So um, people just know how much I love her. So I've reacted to pretty much everything Ray has done. I'm doing some of her live performances. I just did SNL. I did the Brit Awards. And I'm just so happy for her and so proud of her. I am on her Discord as a moderator because I just like to help out, you know, like why not? So if you're not on her discord and you're a big fan, I highly suggest it because the fans of Ray are just the coolest people. So go and join her discord. I should leave a link on my channel for it. I'll figure that out eventually. Okay. So we're finally listening to side tape. I'm really excited. I'm just going to go on Spotify and see when this came out. Okay. So this came out in 2018. It has six songs, which is great. Um, I just want to compare when this came out to everything else because like Ray has released a lot of stuff. Okay, so second came out first and I've already reacted to that. You can go check that out. Then she had a ton of different singles come out and then side tape came out. Okay, so let's just get into side tape. I'm very excited. And then I promise my next Ray reaction will be the symphony audio since I can't react to the BBC One special that she did, although she did release Oscar-winning tears. It was just magical. I reacted to it also on my channel, so you can check that out. Let's get into side tape. Um, I have my fan on because it's kind of hot in here, so apologies for uh, the white noise in the background. Okay, this song is called Crew. Um, I need lyrics. Okay, so this is Ray Kojo Funds and Ray BLK, which is, I'm assuming, black. That's a lot of people for your first EP, which is interesting. And also very interesting, my eyes are so itchy, um, that your first song from your second EP is featuring two other people. I would just went with the first song being yourself, but hey, you do you. Let's do it. If you want it, you can have it. If you got it, just give me the mic And if you come in a hive tonight, we're gonna ride tonight If I have to, Ray, I got you You know I want to, just give me the mic And if you come in a hive tonight, we're gonna ride tonight Oh, wait, wow, wow, wow You wanna come in my town, town, town You wanna play with me now, now, now You don't know if you're down, down, down Wow, wow, wow You wanna come in my town, town, town You wanna play with me now, now, now We don't want you around, round, round
at the party, you can watch me whining Make you feel low You ain't staying home tonight When I'm in the club, I cry Baby girl, I dry your eyes Then get the drinks all night You see, ain't gonna win this time I have got nothing to wear You can watch me whining Okay, is this not a singles girl anthem? Like, imagine this. You just break up with your man because he cheated and your girls want you to go out and you're like, nah, but this song... Mm, this song is a vibe if you're in that kind of mood. Overall, I love it. It does give me Riri vibes. I feel like all of her past music, she kind of sounds like Rihanna. Compliment at its finest, of course. In certain parts of the song, I can hear the 21st century blues right in there. I can hear it in there just screaming to come out. So this is a vibe. It's a jam. Um, will I listen to this again? Mm, probably not. But if it came on, I would not be mad about it. Not at all. All right, I'm curious where this album's going to go because it's very dancey. I got some like reggaeton vibes from it. So let's see what happens with the song Decline. I was always there for you all. I was always on time and I gave you. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Is this giving me a shanti? Is this giving me a shanti? I love Ashanti. Okay, Ray. Okay, let me see how you spin this track. I was always there for you all. I was always on time. And I gave you my all. So now you call. I decline. And now I don't know about you. But I know I'm gonna be fine. And I gave you my Sorry, all. So now you call. Oh, you think that you're sick when you're running it? Now you're bailing on my line like an ambulance. Safe, I'm fine, my love. No, I'm done with it. No, I'm 999, no emergency. You soon, you're a bugaboo, babe. Back in mind, come available. And I know I'm gonna find myself a pretty you. I stressed out cause you're needing me. Going all out cause you need the freak. The ship is done, sailed. I don't need to be. No, you had a good girl. Say said irreplaceable. I was holding out this, picking your dish. You was that mother, mother, what you take me for? Now you stressed out, cause you need me. Going all out, cause you need the freak. The ship is done, said I don't need you be. Uh, you had a good girl, yeah, baby. I was always there for you.
wish when I talk, let me finish. Getting all dressed up, I'm a killer. You can move over there. I'm a beat, I'll beat, need a minute. You can shh when I talk, let me finish. Why you go get gone, I'ma get it. You can move over there, yeah. Okay, that is a vibe. That is a jam. You bet your butts I will be pumping that in my stereo system with my doors off, my roof off, and all that stuff in my Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> Not sure where the country accent came from. Like, that was weird. Um, this was fantastic. This was so fun. I love the play on Ashanti's song. Amazing. I also love that she added You're a Bugaboo, which is a Destiny's Child reference. I also love that she just fully called out Beyonce and was like, Beyonce said irreplaceable. Come on. You can tell she's a big Beyonce Destiny's Child fan. But this Ashanti beat, I don't even give a shit. Ashanti is top tier R&B gold. I don't even care what anyone says. I absolutely adore all of her music. This is so good. It features Nigerian singer and songwriter Mr. Easy. I love his voice. I think it's fantastic. It gives you that party vibe. This was so fun. I love this song so much. This is crazy. Okay, that song, love it. Let's get into confidence. Cheese. Uh. Oh, baby, one days. Red, baby, sunshine, sunshine, yeah. Usually it's cold in the England, so I think I'll fly somewhere different. Usually I work on the weekend, but I'm free, so I'm going out. African boy, where are you at? Don't need someone so bad I can take on one night thing is not what I came for, no, no Now I'm gonna hit the town Now I'm moving to the baseline Waistline pulled me on, yeah Now clearly you don't waste time Want my not shy, are you? beat and everything was super cute the song was fine not a song I'm probably gonna listen to again it is it's a vibe don't get me wrong if it came on somewhere and I heard it I'd be like yes I'll probably learn all the words to it I just I'm confused at this EP and I know this is probably the label's fault but I'm just looking at this track list and every song has someone featured on it and I feel like that's what they were trying to do with her, make her a featured artist. Or they were just saying like, no, we just want you to write for other people because you're good at it. But if you need to make music and if it's in our contract here, do some songs, but these people need to be on it kind of thing. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the vibe I'm getting. This song is cute. She sounds fantastic. I'm not mad at it, but it's just a little too simple for me. It's a little too simple for me. But don't get me wrong. There's a vibe going on in this song, and I feel it. It's just not my vibe. Cool? Great. <laughs> Let's get into the next song. It's called Slower. Hopefully it's slower. I'd like to hear a slow one. It's not slower. Okay. Na, 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 na. Uh, yeah. Say you'll never let me down. How do I know when I met your ass about a month ago? No denying that you're cute. We click. I know. But I'm asking you if we can take it slow. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'll get the check tonight, I don't like stereotypes, nah And I'm not an instrument, you gon' be playing alright, nah You say I'm paranoid, I say I'm cautious I made enough mistakes, baby, before this, alright That was a good So verse. baby, can we chill? It's only early days, you know And I ain't tryna say that I don't like you, babe, I do I love the way you dress your kiss, you talk the way you move just let me explain myself to you So you'll never let me down How do I know When I met your ass about a month ago No denying that you're cute We click, I know But I'm asking you if we can take it slow Just a little bit slower, 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 slower This song sounds slow Baby girl, just a little bit You should come, we can leave in a little bit Tell you to my sugar babes, here's a little mix yeah. That's the spirit Your picture perfect, no caption with it You ain't with your whole gang, still gangster with it If it's murder, she broke, we're fashion killers Get me look suspect But we smell a success Man, them, they just wanna see you undressed But girl, that's why I want more from you, I need ya If I'm coming on too strong, I'll leave ya Alone, no, you wanna be alone with me Girl, I know you know I pillow took you to sleep Far from shallow, I'm in too deep Say you'll never let me down How do I know When I met your ass about a month ago No denying that you're cute We click, I know But I'm asking you if we can take it slow Just a little bit slow, slow, slow not gonna lie I was doing some research while playing that song and I was like why does this song sound so familiar and then when that verse of uh, Avelino Avelino I don't know who that is I'm sorry um said damn baby all I need is a bill of uh, when he said damn baby all I need is a little bit not a lot baby girl just a little bit I feel like that's obviously a 50 cent song called just a little bit so I'm wondering if this beat was taken not taken because it sounds a little different, but inspired by the 50 Cent song just a little bit. I just don't understand why rappers steal other raps. That's weird to me. Like, I understand the referencing of other raps, but when you're starting your rap with another rap, it's just strange. But I do like, I don't know if this was on purpose, when he said, you should come, we can leave in a little bit, turn you into my sugar babes, it's a little mix. So he's referencing the groups sugar babes and little mix, which I thought was kind of cool. And I think that's cute because they're both British girl groups. And uh, I have to say, I'm not really too in the know of sugar babes. Like I know of them. I just don't know a lot of their songs. 
but I am a huge Little Mix fan. I am a Little Mixer. Okay, kids? A lot of these songs sound like resampled other songs, so that's annoying, but I'm really excited to listen to Cigarette because I heard that is a jam. So let's get into it. Come and get around now. Everything is so reggae. Come and get around now, now. So baby, come and get it right now, now, now. I can take you higher than la, la, la. I'm bad for your love, but I'm your own cigarette. So baby, come and get it right now, now, now. All up on my body, boy, go down, down. I'm bad for your love, but I'm your own cigarette. So go on and smoke that shit, baby. I know that you know I'm your favorite. Think she's what you want, but she ain't it. Watching on my waist, one trying to touch my waistline. No, I like to take down with it. Tell me you can look away, I get it. Do I need you on a short? Not really. So you might never get to see me naked. No, no, no. But for you, love, that is what the deal is. Can't get enough of this. Uh, said you tryna hit and quit, but you need me like a cigarette. So baby, come and get it right now, now, now. I can take you higher than la, la, la. I'm bad for you, love, but I'm your own cigarette. And I up, but I'm your cigarette. So baby, come and get it right now, now. confused why there are so many people in the song like don't get me wrong if this was just a single which I'm sure it was and these artists all came out with the song that's great but why is it on her EP this is like a, an EP is supposed to like showcase you as an artist but every song has a feature on it and this song Ray had a verse and a chorus and then Mabel had a whole verse Ray sang the chorus and then Steffi on Dawn and then Steffi on Dawn like rapped her part. I'm not going to lie, guys. Uh, I think this is a great song, but this makes me mad. I think maybe and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but like did the label just throw a bunch of like songs that Ray did and made it an EP? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. Don't get me wrong. Like everyone on this track is fantastic, but I'm just like, am I not supposed to be listening to Ray? <laughs> I don't think Ray had her moment in this song at all. I think it was fine in the beginning. And then it was just like, also the thing that bothered me, I'm sorry, I'm cutting myself off, but the end of the song where Mabel, I hope I'm saying her name right, saying the last line, but I'm yours. Why wasn't that Ray if this is kind of her song? I'm confused because now I want to go see if Mabel had this on an album. Steffi on Dawn had this on an album. It's just a weird EP to have everyone be a feature on it. 
Like, EPs are supposed to get you, like, out there. So odd. All right, let's listen to the last song. It's called Wife Me. And I'm sure it has a feature. Uh, Steel Bangles. All right, let's do it. First place. I don't give it up until I'm first place. Uh, boy, I know you want this in the worst way. No, now you better know it's my time. The only way you gon' get it. So if you wife me, baby, wife me, baby. If you don't mind, make every day your birthday. On time, whenever did you want me? All yours, all yours. I give my all to you if I know you never hurt me. Pick you up whenever you are working. Got your boy damn jealous on a walk in. Fill you up, fill your cup. You know I'ma be the drink for you if you been a Thursday. Save it for you. No, you better know it's my time The only way you gon' get it Is if you wife me, baby Wife me, baby If I was yours, I'd never leave you hungry 24-7 when you need me, I'll be there, babe I'll be here on time, on time uh -huh. For a one, two, three, four year long anniversary Believe that I know you wanna pin me that is even if you ever get to work out how If you need it Boy, you better make me believe it no. Save it for you If you are true Don't be no fool ooh, ooh. First base I don't give it up until I'm first place uh, Boy, I know you want this in the worst way No, no, you better know it's my time as if you want me, baby That's a cute song. I'm glad it was all Ray, but like, why does it say Ray and steal bangles when all he literally said was bangles on the rhythm? Yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> Yo, if I could just jump on a track that's like a hit and just say Ashlina on the track, it's fucked and then get all the royalties. Sure. I thought that was pointless. This song is cute. She sounds phenomenal, but the song for me is just kind of basic. I'm not going to lie. And plus, like, do I don't I just <laughs> uh, I just don't believe in my case what she's saying. Like, I don't give it up until I'm in first place. You better not waste my time. The only way you're going to get it is if, if you wife me. It's a very small demographic you're referring to, right? <laughs> uh, OK, I'm married, so it's fine. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, let's be real. I'm still obsessed with Ray. I am still one of her number one fans. I will always support her in anything she does. But I'm always going to be honest about what I think about music in general. And side tape is just not for me. Decline is a jam just because it, it's a Shanti. It's an Ashanti beat. And I love that song. So I will definitely be listening to Decline a lot, which is funny because it's the most streamed song on this EP. So that's pretty cool. Overall, it's just not a vibe for me. It's not it's not my forte. It's not my taste in music, really. And I'm just so happy the way she like vocally does her stuff now, especially on my 21st Century Blues. All of her older stuff, she just doesn't sound like Ray. 
but now she sounds like Ray. Like if I heard Ray on the radio today, I'd be like, that's Ray. If I heard this version of Ray on the radio, I'd be like, I don't know who this is. Could this be Rihanna? Could this be some other R&B singer? I have no idea. So I'm kind of glad she found like her voice and the distinction of being an individual. Not to say her voice isn't phenomenal in these songs, but I just love the Ray. <laughs> I just love the way Ray sings now. She puts in her attitude, her British accent, and it's just perfection. So overall, not my vibe. And that's okay, right? Yeah, I think so. I want to know what you guys think of this EP. I'm sure all the Ray fans are just like, yeah, it's great. But like, give me your honest truth. Like, what song on here do you hate the most? <laughs> I want to know. You can tell me which song you love the most, too. I'm curious if it's also Decline, but I feel like everyone would love that song because they know the original beat. So if you have an, another favorite, let me know as well. I just realized I don't have a vinyl of the day here, so I'm going to go grab one. I'm going to try not to get emotional. Listen, I know the album artwork is a little gross, okay? But this album literally changed my life. I used to steal this on CD from my mom. When she would go out, I would steal her CD and I would spin this. And this was like my first introduction to like not soft rock and I literally fell in love with this album when I heard crying and crazy I just I think I died a little inside and then I became excessively obsessed with Steven Tyler I still am I still think he is the most wonderful artist singer all that stuff I just I adore him I don't know, obviously, everything about him besides what I've read in his uh, biography. But I just, there's just something about Aerosmith that always makes me feel emotional because they are the ones who really got me into, like, heavier rock. Although this album wasn't super heavy, but I feel like it was like this was my gateway drug to, like, heavy metal. For sure. I am beyond stoked. I found this vinyl and I own it now and I can't wait to open it and spin it. I'm so excited. It's going to bring back so much nostalgia that I might just sit in my room and cry while I listen to it. It's good. It's a good thing there's a song called Crying on it, right? So go check out these songs if you haven't and if you're an Aerosmith fan, love ya. I can't wait to go see their show. It's been pushed to January because Steven Tyler had some vocal issues, but I've never seen Aerosmith live. I know, but I have seen Steven Tyler live. He did like a tour on his own where he did like a more smaller venue show and he did a lot of Aerosmith songs. So I feel like I'm complete even if this show doesn't happen, but I need to see Aerosmith as a whole before I die. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.